Update now to a heartfelt story we first brought you on Wednesday that took an unexpected turn. A dog named Freya was found in Georgia and reunited with an Indiana man after two years. But it turns out that man wasn't the rightful owner. Eyewitness News Raven Ford has details. I had some friends watching the house. They let her out in the backyard. She probably found the weak spot in the fence. This reunion between William Bishop and Freya on Wednesday seemed like it was meant to be. But according to the Humane Society in Sullivan, Indiana, some things aren't what they seem. It threw up some red flags. William Bishop was contacted by the Humane Society of South Coastal Georgia after Freya was found astray. After reading Freya's microchip, the shelter workers found Bishop still listed as the owner. Freya was flown out to Indiana from Georgia with the help of pilots and paws after Bishop claims he lost a dog and was excited to get her back. However, according to the Humane Society in Sullivan, Indiana, that wasn't the case. When I watched the, um, the clip of him being reunited with Freya and his comments about looking for her for two years and checking shelters, um, I was, I was appalled because several times he's been in here, he's never said she was lost. He's always told us that she was rehomed. According to the records, the owners in Georgia reached out back in 2017 to update the information on the microchip. However, it was outside of business hours and they never called back. Baker says she doesn't understand why Bishop claimed to be the rightful owner of Freya when he admitted he gave her up due to him not having time to care for her. Just to take advantage of someone who's doing something out of, you know, just goodwill and the nature of their heart and taking their own personal time and resources to reunite an animal with their supposed rightful owner. It, it's just it's just appalling for the animal advocates out there. Freya is now back at the Humane Society in Sullivan, Indiana, where they plan to return her back to the owners in Brunswick, Georgia. Raven Ford, Eyewitness News. Now, Baker says other than a weak back leg and a flea allergy, Freya is in good health. And hopefully she'll get to go home soon. Let's hope.